And we are underway as Gavin Beckley kicks it deep and through the end. Two-headed monster there in the backfield with Josh McCown and DeLeon Ward. But this time the Lumberjacks going to the air and it's juggled and caught by the leading receiver, Xavier Gipp. Say no gain on the last play, so it's second and 10. A quick swing out pass and it's caught by Q Borders and Borders is into the red zone for the Lumberjacks. So a very Another quick pass to the outside and it's caught by Reichel and Reichel is in for the touchdown and just like that he slides safely after the score. But Lawton Reichel scores the opening touchdown of the season for the Lumberjacks and just like that it's six nothing for Stephen F. Austin. Uh, I don't know if that was three or four plays in a row by Stephen F. Austin when they lined up there straight in for a touchdown. Great play. Chris Campos on to knock in the extra point. And it's 7-0 Lumberjacks on the opening drive of the game. The Jacks march right down the field. Hardison with plenty of time. Now flushed out. Throws on the run, and the pass is complete to the outside. It is Jacob Cowing with his. That brings up a third and six. Cooper, the motion man at the top. Hardison looking to deep to the sideline, and the pass is a little bit overthrown, but that's because of what you see on the field now, a flag. Play action. And a wide open receiver is Cowing, and Cowing cuts inside. And you tapped her able to. Figure this one out. Hardison to pass on third and goal, going to the corner, and the pass is incomplete. Over. It was an all conference USA honorable mention kicker a year ago. And punches this one through from 20 for the Miners this year, switching to the 4 3 defense. Uh, Self lobs one over the middle, and it's caught on the deflection. Enough for the first, I don't think it looked malicious, but it doesn't need to be malicious in order for it to be called targeting as Self has trouble with the snap and just throws it into the ground. It's picked up by the Miners. They're calling it a fumble right now, but it did look like Self threw that into the ground. It could, like you said, play to the, to the sound of the whistle. Third and 10, the crowd's the loudest it's been tonight. Quick pass out is caught and reaching near the goal line, just short it looks like Jeremiah Miller the tackle to keep the Jacks out of the end zone for now, but first in goal from the one. And the handoff goes to Ward, and Ward is in easily for the touchdown. touchdown and Stephen F. Austin makes it 13 to three, as his first of 2020 here in the second quarter of game one. And back on for the extra point is Chris Campos, and Campos is perfect to make it 14 to three going towards his target. I think he would have completed that pass. Brings up second and 10, hardest in to throw again. Going for a cowing again and cowing makes the catch. Tipped it to himself as he was favorite target for Hardison so far. Been targeted five times. The Miners get near midfield. Hardison flushed out on first down. Goes to his running back, Josh Fields, who makes the catch. And has enough for another Miners first down as the Miners get back. They've got a guy up pressured to not give away that easy pass like they did last time. Hardison initially looks to the left and said comes back to his slot receiver, Don, who takes a big hit. But he has a front that struggled a year ago. But holding the Miners running backs for just 27 yards so far. Now Hardison will scram scramble his way out of bounds across the 10 yards. Build him some confidence here before halftime. Gavin Beckley on for the extra point. And the kick just sneaks inside. Four point lead, just try and run this clock out. Throw it out to the outside and the ball is loose on the ground and it's scooped up by Justin Prince. And Prince has some room down the sideline and tackled just inside the five yard line. A huge play. Now 30 seconds left. It's been almost 30 seconds since they ran their last play. And they snap it here. Again to Wadley and or to Hankins and Hankins breaks the tackle and gets in for the touchdown. 
The form of a touchdown run that gives the Miners the lead, and Beckley's kick is perfect this time. So with 20 seconds to play in the first half, all of a sudden, UTEP going from down 14. So as long as his next reception is a positive one, he'll eclipse the 100-yard mark. But back to the ground, and another tough run from Hankins, just bowling over defenders across the 30-yard line. I said it back. Kicking in punt returning game. Now third down, Hardison facing pressure. Runs into it, runs out of it, gets the ball off, and it is picked off. Tavo Hendricks, though, and got the first down, trying to pick up another first here. He'll keep it on the ground with McGowan. He breaks the first tackle and now gets into the open field, down the sideline and pushed out of bounds, just shy of I think this goes to show what I had spoke on earlier is the fact that if he can get through that first line of defense and break a tackle, he was able to be able to get out and get some space and run, and this time on third and short, this was a great play for him to break out and get down to the. Pickup of eight, second and two. Self with time, throws and it's incomplete, but there is a flag on the play. Jeremiah Miller had his hands up in the air. Self looking to the corner and the pass is underthrown and intercepted. Deron Lowe with a huge turnover for the Miners. That back end judge is getting an earful from Coach Dana Demmel, who does not agree with that flag not being thrown on that play. Miners go to the air on the very next play, and what a catch by Justin Garrett. That's going up there and using your hands to make the catch, and it's good enough for a first down for five. Snap the ball at one. Hardison looking to the air, taking a deep shot, looking for Cowing, Cowing can't make the catch. Well, that was a great throw. You guys would be able to see the opposite side of the field. He had his tight end running scotch wide open up the field. It would have been a walk-in touchdown on the opposite side of the field. Another late snap in the play clock. It's a give to Hankins who has some space. Hankins has a seam across the 20. Hankins inside the 10 yard line down to the five, a huge run. For the pickup of two on the play, Hankins up to 12 carries for 76 yards in the touchdown. And now a Wildcat formation straight to Hankins, and Hankins easily in for the touchdown. His second of the night. Push forward, get down and score a touchdown, give themselves a 10-point cushion here with the extra point. After the Duran 